All right, I wasn't planning to make this video today, but OpenAI dropped a big announcement and my DM started filling up. Codex is out and everyone's asking, is this the cursor killer or just another AI thing that doesn't get Swift UI? If you're new here, hey, I'm Daniel. I build iOS apps solo using Swift UI and AI tools like Cursor, GPT, and Claude. On this channel, I share how I actually build that workflows, experiments, and the occasional deep dive like this one. All right, so OpenAI just dropped something new. It's called Codex. And yeah, it definitely made me pause. I haven't tried it yet. It literally just came out, but I, uh, but I've been going through the blog post, the demo, watching reactions, and just kind of sitting with it. Like, mm, could this actually change how we build? So let me walk you through it. This is more of a first reaction uh, from the perspective of a solo iOS dev who already uses GPTI, Claude, Cursor, I, all that stuff. Okay, what is Codex? Basically, it's a cloud-based AI coding assistant. You connect it to a GitHub repo, pick a branch, and then you interact with it using natural language. Like you don't code with it in real time. Instead, you give it a task, something like uh, add a setting screen or fix this bug in the image loader. And Codex spins up a whole environment behind the scenes, full context, access to files, terminal, test suite, the works. That part's pretty wild. It's not just generating code snippets, it's doing the task. It edits, runs commands, tests, logs everything. And when it's done, it hands back the results, usually in the form of a PR, just like a teammate. Now it's not instant. They say tasks can take anywhere from one to 30 minutes. So this is definitely not cursor style chat. It's more like asynchronous collaboration, which depending on your workflow might actually be perfect. It's powered by something they're calling Codex One, a tuned version of OpenAI's O3 model, specifically trained on real world engineering problems. It's supposed to follow instructions really well, format PRs like a human would and just generally act more like an engineer than a chatbot. That caught my eye. Because if you've worked with AI tools, you know the pain of vague code, weird structure, or stuff that compiles, but clearly wasn't written by someone who's built a real app. Right now, they're rolling it out to pro, team, and enterprise accounts. So uh, I'm not in yet. I'm just on plus, like probably many of you. But I'm watching. There's a lot here that sounds interesting. One of the things I like is the idea of this agents.md file, kind of like a readme, but for your AI assistant, you drop it in your repo root and it explains to Codex how you work, yeah, your test commands, architecture patterns, coding preferences. If you've used cursor rules, it's a similar idea. And honestly, I love this kind of thing. If you're gonna give tasks to an AI, you wanna shape how it thinks. Otherwise you end up undoing a bunch of stuff. Another detail, they're saying you'll be able to use Codex from the chat GPT app. So imagine being out and about, you know, you get a crash report or a bug trace back and you can just pull out your phone, paste it in, assign the task and let Codex handle it. I don't know how polished that'll be yet, but in theory, that sounds really useful especially for solo devs who wear every hat. Now this isn't cursor. It's not an instant companion. It's not like, uh, help me tweak this view right now. It's more, hey, here's a job, go take care of it. And that might feel slow if you're used to fast iteration, but it also opens the door to async workflows. And that's kind of exciting. From a solo iOS dev perspective, here's where my head's at. If you're like me, uh, juggling everything, UI design, architecture, data models, crash fixes, uh, marketing copy, something like Codex could actually be a relief. Like, hey, Codex, go write unit tests for this new view model while I'm over in Figma sketching out the next screen. Or maybe Codex, refactor 
this async logic into a new task class and add error handling while I'm debugging why something isn't saving correctly in core data. You get the idea. It's not replacing your thinking. It's just giving you some space. Of course, that depends on how well it actually understands Swift UI, combine, Swift data, and how it deals with all the weird edge cases that Apple frameworks tend to have. Like, will it crash my previews with weird modifiers? Will it confuse its state object and add observed object? Will it give me Swift UI 2.0 solutions when I need iOS 18 features? That's still a big unknown. And it matters because if the assistant gives me stuff I have to rewrite or fix constantly, it's more work, not less. Another thing, I'm wondering how Codex handles smaller, messier indie projects, you know, not huge repos with tight CI pipelines, just normal in-progress stuff, side projects, experiments, things without perfect structure. Is it flexible? Does it adapt to that indie rhythm? Or does it expect a clean repo with documentation and tests ready to go? If it can handle the chaos, that's a huge win. Because for me, the dream here is async dev support. Like I said, offload boring stuff. Let Codex run in the background while I focus on the work only I can do. Refactor that helper file. Write some basic UI tests. Add documentation to that new view. Stuff I've been putting off, stuff I forget and since it logs terminal output, test results, and gives you a full summary of what it did and that builds trust, that helps you check its work quickly and move on. So yeah, this, and this isn't cursor, it's not fast and fluid, but it might be thoughtful and powerful. And I think that's an interesting trade-off, especially for solo builders who are constantly switching hats. What I'd love to see next, some real Swift UI examples like Show me a codex task that adds a list view, binds to a Swift data model, and handles navigation. That's the bar. If it can nail that, I'll be impressed. For now, I'm just watching, reflecting, seeing how other devs are reacting. And once I get access, yeah, I'll test it. Maybe I'll spin up a fresh project and see how it handles a scoped set of tasks. Could be a fun experiment. Anyway, I wanted to get this video out because tools like this are coming fast. And if you're building solo in 2025, you kind of have to think about them. Not because they'll replace you, but because they might unlock a new way of working. Let me know what you think. Would you try Codex? Does it sound useful? Or do you prefer something faster, more collaborative like Cursor? Drop a comment or shoot me a message. I'm Solo Swift Crafter on Instagram, and thank you for watching. Peace.